Zach, if I give you a concussion, I am sorry. I'm, so I'm shredding, but I'm feeling something banging this guitar. <laughs> What's up guys, episode four, here we go. Today we are checking out the legendary LNG Ibanez gem. This is an original LNG that I either got in the very late 80s or the very, very early 90s. You guys are gonna have to let me know, when was this guitar released? I'm gonna tell you the story about how I got this guitar and also how I ended up cracking Zach Wilde a number of times across the head with <laughs> And also how I ended up cracking Zach Wilde across the head a bunch of times with it. Before we get started today, let's hear a word from our sponsor, me. Let me tell you about my amazing new app that I've just launched. It's called Scale Finder. Scale Finder has over 200 arpeggios and scales, covering everything from your basic C major scale right through to your insane shred three octave arpeggios. A lot of the scales and arpeggios also have my specific fingering included, which is really, really cool. So if you find that you're playing in one position all the time and you're just not able to explore the neck and treat that neck like it's your playground, then check out the Scale Finder app. Link for Android and iOS is down below. So there we go, my new app Scale Finder is out now. I'll leave the link to both iOS and Android down below. I hope you can check it out. The feedback has been absolutely amazing so far. But for now, let's check out this LNG. Let's go. Man, having not played this guitar in some time, I've got to say, it sounds absolutely incredible. I really, really like it. And in all honesty, this was the gem that I played the least kind of growing up. I don't know if it was because it was the maple neck and I preferred the rosewood. Now I guess my taste has changed. I like the feel of that maple neck. And I guess I just appreciate the brighter tone a bit more these days. <laughs> actually bought this guitar for me in New York. I believe at the time I was doing a feature with Guitar World magazine and somewhere online there is actually some footage in the very store that this guitar was purchased from. Me shredding and there's just a bunch of people just standing around looking at me like what the hell is going on here? here, here, here. It's a big new world for an eight-year-old but Tom knows where he's going and that means the legendary Sam Ash, Manhattan's biggest music store. It's all concentration as Tom tries the latest guitars, most of them as big as he is. And as he gets into his stride, the other customers drop their cool to stop and listen. <laughs> and after a successful day, there's one final duty for the rising star. A photo session in his limo with Guitar World magazine. Anthony Dworkin, PVAM, New York. Ozzy Osbourne, all the rest of you, step aside. Mr. McLaughlin is on his way. I remember walking into that music store and looking up on the wall and seeing the LNG. If you guys are a little bit like me and you love David Lee Roth stuff with Vi playing back in the day, Skyscraper and all those classic records, then you'll know exactly what I mean. Seeing the LNG on the wall for the first time and having only seen it in the Steve Vai videos with David Lee Roth, I was like, oh my 
God, there it is, there it is. Please get it down, let me try it. I don't know how long we were in this music store for, but I'm guessing it was a number of hours. But anyway, some time later, we eventually left the music store. I had the guitar, it was in the case, and we actually wandered up to another music store just a few doors up. And they had the same guitar for like two, three hundred dollars less than the price that we paid for this one. And I'm sure my dad at that time was just like absolutely <laughs> <laughs> Before we get to the story of me beating Zach Wild up with this guitar, let me show you some close-ups because it's got a few interesting little mods on this guitar. So first of all, this pickup actually sounds really, really cool. I don't know what you call this pickup. You guys can help me with that. That would be really, really cool. It sounds great. I really, really like it. The splits on that two and four position are just awesome. This, I believe, actually is the original pickup from back in the day. So maybe they're called Paths or Path Pros. That one, I'm pretty sure, is a Tone Zone. Um, and as you've probably seen in my previous videos, it's a pretty common mod that I used to do to a lot of my gems. The trem doesn't really have anything around here. I'm pretty sure some of my other edge trems have extra information on, so I'm not sure at some point if I've changed the trem over on this one. It all seems to work and it's nice and bouncy and flutters very well. You can tell this neck is nicely played. Some people really, really like the look of a worn maple neck, as this one is. You know, you can tell it's been played a lot, and some people find it absolutely disgusting. So you're gonna have to let me know <laughs> which camp you're in. Got a few choice words on there. You can see the back of the necks also nicely worn. All these original gems were signed by Steve, and they had the serial numbers and stuff like that written here. Uh, as you can see, mine is super faded. There's hardly any of that right and left. You can see I've got. A couple of cracks and stuff going on there. It's generally in, I would say, decent shape. That's a nice little ding on the uh, the horn there, isn't it? Damn. We can barely make out the serial number for this particular one. Um, that is the serial number of the guitar, and I guess the number in production was what was written on here, but I don't know. I think this was like in the 300s or something like that. And by the way, if you want to see a full walkthrough of everything to do with my tone, the signal path, the plugins, the pedals, everything from cable right through to the final thing in the chain, then check out my last video. It's very geeky and super in depth, but if you're a guitar geek like me, then you'll probably enjoy it. The link for that will be down below. Get yourself a nice tea or coffee, put your feet up and enjoy that video. <laughs> So in the early 90s, we all got the heartbreaking news that unfortunately Jason Becker had been diagnosed with ALS. And the guy is such a legend. And we had a bit of... This, this, is, this is a hard bit to shoot. Oh man. Um, the guy is such a legend. And there was a benefit concert, which fortunately I got to play at. This gig had some twists and turns. With so many amazing guitarists coming together to support Jason, this was really a special concert. But there was one guitarist in this lineup that really, really did not like what they saw when I was shredding at the sound check. And they went as far as to say, I'm not getting on stage with that little bastard if he's playing. And that wasn't even the worst part. So let me know in the comments if you want me to reveal which guitar player that was 
and also the full details because thinking back to it now, pretty, pretty poor behavior. But there was one guy with quite a different attitude that I would be sharing the stage with that night. It was Zach Wilde. I had actually met Zach Wilde a couple of years previously in my hometown of Newcastle. Zach had not long joined Ozzy Osbourne and that just so happened to be the very night of my first big gig opening up for Ozzy Osbourne. And I remember Zach just being absolutely just blazing in both sense that he was just full of energy and then hearing his licks and how much power he had, like he just transformed Aussie tracks for the better at that time. It was just absolutely amazing. And I remember at that gig, there was some fun banter between Aussie, Zach and the crew where they were joking on that I was going to take his spot for the Aussie lineup. But getting to shred on the stage and open up for Aussie Osborne when I was eight, that was a crazy moment for sure. Fast forward a couple of years later at the Jason Becker Benefit concert. Now I actually didn't see Zach at the sound check. There was a lot of guitarists there, so it was all pretty crazy and chaotic. So I was waiting at the side of the stage during the actual gig for my turn to go on and play my parts and jam with everybody. And I remember kind of watching from the side and Zach's ripping it up, he's going wild. Now it's my turn to play. I walk out onto the stage and the next thing you know, I'm being hoisted up on Zach Wilde's shoulders. And I'm like way, way up into the air because he's like six foot four or something. He's a big guy. And also there was a line of beers that had been depleted at the front. So I'm on Zach Wilde's shoulders and I'm just going for it. I'm shredding and I'm feeling the sways going back and forwards. I'm pretty sure I could see my dad just ready to catch me out the corner of my eye. But anyway, I was just going for it. I'm wailing with this guitar on Zach's head. And I hear him down below going, yeah, yeah. He's just like, he's really, he must be head down. He's really encouraged me to just to go for it. Um, so I'm shredding, but I'm feeling something. And basically his head is right here. Cause have you ever put somebody on top of your head with a guitar strap on? Well, where's the guitar gonna go? Well, it's just gonna ding continuously into your head. So I say I hear Zach encourage me to play, but it could have been him just absolutely in agony because I was just banging this guitar across his head whilst I'm shredding. And this went on for like two or three minutes. I'm on top of his shoulders, swaying back and forwards, and I'm giving it the dive bombs. I'm giving it the bends, the tapping, the full nine yards. I'm really going for it. And all the while, he's probably up there going, shit, stop, 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 make this over. Zach, if I give you a concussion, I am sorry. It was a great moment. And um, yeah, Zach, what a legend and what a guy. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and do check out my new app, Scale Finder, below. For now, oh, you guys take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy, bye.